Hi Taurus and welcome to your tarot videoscope for this month of August 2017 by AMA. This recording is for uh, um, Taurus Sun, Taurus Rising and Taurus Moon. Thank you for being here, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. If you are new, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and remember to turn on the notification button, this way you'll be notified immediately when I upload special videos. To get your personal reading with me, email me at amalightworker at gmail.com or contact me through my website amalightworker.com. Uh, I already made a very in-depth uh, reading for this month of August and how the eclipses that are going to happen in August are going to affect you and also how they're going to affect the, the next six months of your life. If you are interested to know more, please click in the link down here below in the show more description box and that, vi and that link will take you to the Vimeo videos for those of you who are interested for to download and uh, purchase. Also, uh, there's another link right down here below for those of you who are interested to know how Jupiter transiting is still influencing uh, you. We are still under the uh, influence of the uh, Jupiter uh, transition. And I also made a lecture about energy clearing, the principles uh, of energy clearing, how energy clearing works, and the basic steps to do on uh, energy clearing. If you are interested to know more about the energy clearing, again, in the link down here below in the show more description box, if you click on it, the link will take you to the energy clearing lecture on my uh, Vimeo uh, channel. Around September 9 and 10, which is going to be a Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to organize a workshop on uh, energy uh, clearing. For those of you who are interested, this workshop needs to be done in person because we have to train with uh, energy, balancing uh, chakras, balancing the energy field, and, and um, other related stuff. So for those of you who are interested to uh, participate, uh, to be part of my workshop, please email me I'm a light worker at gmail.com uh, and please I am curious to know your ideas your opinions if you want me to do like special videos about something or if there's anything that you want me to organize a workshop so it could be online for uh, you guys to uh, attend so give me uh, ideas and opinions in the uh, dialogue box right uh, down here uh, below thank you so very much for liking sharing and uh, subscribing Subscribing. Now allow me to focus on this reading today for you. The general feelings that I'm picking up, they have to do either with the physical travel or mentally uh, moving away toward new ideas or a new home or new shores, toward new things. Uh, your spirit guide showing up in this reading for you, kind of leading the way for you having to deal with big transformative changes some of them could be uh, changes that could show up all of a sudden uh, being more in tune or more in touch with your own sense of creativity intuition your inner child or important things that could come up in terms of uh, children if you have uh, children uh, and uh, family and of course a lot that has to deal with your emotion transforming and having to deal with a mix uh, bag of uh, emotions. I keep getting something around your career and I also keep getting something around people with whom you work in the workplace or people with whom you take orders uh, from or people working uh, under you. Something could be coming to uh, fruition. So um, and experiencing like uh, like going out more maybe or experiencing like going to cultural events or theater um, so kind of experiences so this is generally what I keep picking up from this reading for you now allow me to break it down one by one the first card that I wanted to show up for you for this reading is the six of swords falls in the position of what happened in the past that could still be influencing you in the present current situation or in your future the meaning of the card to me it means a physical or a mental voyage towards uh, toward new shores or 
toward the realization of your dreams, wishes, goals, and desires, towards uh, a place that will a place that would provide for you a better balance and equilibrium, carries challenges along the way, but it will lead you to a better place of balance and equilibrium. Sometimes this card also could represent a counselor or uh, some sort of a specialist and sometimes could also represent a, a, a book. So either a book or a counselor that could show up to kind of help you with something or to um, change the direction as to you thought you were going for the better to help you to achieve a better place of balance and equilibrium. So now allow me to tune in and let me figure out what is it that this card showed up for you in this reading. For some of you, I keep getting big plans in the making for you to move or to make some significant home adjustments, home repairs, home improvements. You could be even decorating your home, not necessarily repair anything. And I keep getting that the energy of this, it feels like could be happening mostly towards the last 10 days of the month or toward the, um, the last portion of the uh, month. For some of uh, you, you may be preparing to uh, move. At the same time, for some reason, I keep getting that some of you will prepare to change your workstation. Now, I don't know what that means because they are not specifically talking about you changing your workplace. They are saying some of you could be changing your work uh, station. So maybe you work in this section of the company or the factory or the place. Now you're going to be working in a different section. You work in this desk or in this cubicle. Now you're going to be working in another desk or in another cubicle. Or the role or the position could be changing because every station uh, at different jobs could be having like different functions. So they're talking about a change in your work uh, station. I feel that powerful forces are in the making to you you're going to feel some sort of uh, hope and light and optimism some sort of a light at the end of the tunnel for some of you because i feel that now you will be ready to or you're going to find the courage to pursue your dreams uh more actively than uh before and thus, that's how it feels that an uh, area of your life could be changing direction as a result of you finding that courage and that motivation to uh, make it happen. Some of you may be dealing with either writing, editing, dealing with editors, dealing with maybe people who... Uh, uh, do like computers, website design, um, and I feel like you may end up consulting, hiring someone who has a certain expertise in an area that right now in August you are looking to improve, an area of your life that you are looking to improve. So if it is your health, I feel like the right information, the right brochure, the right doctor, kind of you will uh, get in touch with uh, with uh, the right person if you are looking to get some legal counseling in something i feel that for some reason you are going to end up being paired with the right lawyer for you if you are looking to discover more and go in depth into the roots as to who you are uh, I feel that for some reason you are constantly going to keep running in maybe videos, could be on YouTube, maybe books or other information that you're going to feel some sort of a connection with these places. I feel like these places will be calling, you will be drawn to travel or to visit certain places. And for some reason, many of you seem to have a very deep karmic con uh, connection with certain places that you could be visiting in August or for some reason you are going to be drawn to. 
Sometimes this is coming as not necessarily being drawn to a specific place or specific country or specific state. You may be drawn to a certain culture or a certain religion because for some reason you seem to have a very deep karmic connection either with that uh, culture or with that faith, with that uh, re uh, religion. And for many of you, for I keep getting images of astro traveling. Uh, your mind is going to expand in a way, or you're going to have a new kind of thinking. Uh, now your mind will start to operate, so to speak, from a brand new horizon, from a brand new perspective that allows you not only to grow more, but also that allows you to go deeper within and also challenge yourself. So it doesn't come up as a stagnating energy. It feels like you have to act quickly in some situation because things or changes could come at you uh, quite all of a sudden or uh, quickly. Whatever that means uh, for uh, you. Um, I feel like... For some of you, you may have to pay attention to maybe like water problems in the house or things that maybe you need to fix or repair around a property that you own or around uh, a home. And I also keep getting other people may ask you for some sort of a help or assistance. Maybe they need you so you can help them either with some home constructions that are going on, home decoration, or just like help around their home. This could be a relative, a loved one, a friend, or someone uh, around uh, you. Some of you, I feel that you could be traveling uh, or going places because you may need to attend either workshops, conferences, symposiums, important events that maybe are happening through your work or in regards, something important in regards to the profession that you have. Like maybe like doctors, you know, once a year there's a doctor's conference or once a year there's like a conference for writers or once a year there's like some sort of a gathering for performers, for example. So that could be the case for some of uh, you. The next card that you have is the Hermit falls in the position of your present current situation and the meaning of the card is your highest spirit guide showing up in this reading for you leading the way for you this could be you leading the way uh, for others it also means going within soul searching and to me personally it also means uh, seeking finding completing perfecting problem solving for some of you, in August, something will come to conclusion and it feels like uh, you're going to seal a deal or you're going to sign a contract. Something that in the last six months maybe you have put a lot of energy into it now will start to uh, bring you like the first way of success because I feel like there's other things that will follow but in August you're going to start to see the first sparks of this success for some of you if this is your career or your work that you have been focusing on completing something will start to manifest if it is maybe like dealing with like uh, again like constructing a home repairing a home something will come uh, to uh, fruition for some of you other people may consider you like a leading figure in something you may be like a leading figure in like a project you may be a leading figure in the kind of profession that you have but many of you will be on the verge of becoming very well known for something that maybe uh, other people consider you to have a great knowledge on or even an uh, uh, expert Some of you will have to go through a dark night of your soul. 
I don't know if anything in your life could be happening for you to feel like you are going through this because first and foremost this is coming to me as simply dealing with some inner feelings, dealing with some high and low emotions or very strong emotions. So emotionally for some of you, you may have to deal with certain feelings that somehow uh, they are referring to as dealing with uh, a dark, um, like a dark night of your, um, uh, or dark times of your uh, soul. Whatever obstacles you may run into in this month of August, again, I feel that people will show up out of nowhere situations with arise out of nowhere and you will be getting guidance clearance and help to cope with this and even to overcome it so if you feel that you are running into certain blocks again i also feel like uh, uh, other doors will open other people will intervene and you will be supported through this until you find the proper solutions and for some of you for some reason i keep getting not only the end of august but also around either september 9 or september 13 so i don't know why it's the reason that i was shown this time frame but whatever this is to me it comes up as uh figuring out the details of something figuring out a solution to something so preparing for either a solution to come in or some sort of a success to take uh place the next card that you have is the world and i did get this card also for another sign to me it means planetary guides and um i'm sorry uh spirit guides and planets around you are conspiring to uh help you you may not see the evidence of it right away but in the next upcoming month something huge will happen and you're going to see a huge turnaround of events in a positive way uh for uh you to me it also means uh suddenly your course and direction changes for the better it also means uh unions and gatherings of importance it also means opportunity showing up for you and sometimes this card all even though it's generally it's a very good card to have sometimes to me it also means a block or a restriction maybe that's why through this card they were trying to tell you that whatever blocks or you have to go through you will be guided to overcome this because even this card i keep getting that you may have to run or feel like you're running into a wall uh, maybe having to deal with some controversial uh situation or um uh like um I'm trying to find the proper uh, uh, word or when like uh, some sort of um, um, uh, clashes like different opinions, different ideas, like a conflict of interest for some of you. Again, I feel like whatever this is, it's going to be temporary and it's going to be something that you can uh, overcome. The reason as to why this card is showing up, I don't feel that it's going to affect all of you. But it feels like if you feel like uh, generally your life is not in a good place, that's why I feel that this card is showing up because something is going to happen for you to realize that the reason that your life generally doesn't feel like on track or doesn't feel like uh, right or it's not uh, what you uh, hoped and wished for it to be is because you need to change and you need to go in a different direction whether it is moving whether it is choosing a new career whether it is expanding a career that you may have whether it is you know thinking of being self-employed or, or generating your own money opening your own company uh, whether it is um, uh, having a new relationship or a new partner, whatever this is, you're going to have that big realization and that's how you're going to get, uh, you know, through or over uh, these temporary uh, blocks. And I also keep getting that what goes around comes around. So again, this is a very karmic uh, card. Uh, what goes around comes around and that's going to be a deep reflection of what's going to happen uh, in August for you and generally as I said I keep getting good things in the making in, in the making you may just not understand the power of these transitions and these changes 
that uh, with uh, happen because for some of you you may have to deal with uh, emergencies or situations um, happening all of a uh, sudden the next card that you have in the position of advice this is from the Egyptian Oracle deck this is the child so the meaning of the card is a new beginning they could be both simple and spontaneous. Uh, it also means dealing with a fresh new situation, a child, or it could be a student, or a person that is dear to you but happens to be younger than uh, you. It also represents positive uh, na uh, naivete, okay? Uh, it also sometimes it means like uh, uncertainty, uncertainty and uh, a lack of experience. If you feel like you need more experience or if you are still dealing, because not all of you will be dealing with these issues, but if you feel like you are still dealing with some issues around uncertainties and a lack of experience, okay, this month then, it will really affect uh, a business that you have or a business that you work for or a love relationship. That's why the advice is that you need to face everything and everyone with a lot of confidence and uh, courage. So the advice that comes through this card is please listen to your inner child, listen to your inner feelings. Okay, emotionally is like your emotions, your heart, your soul has like a GPS and your heart, your soul, that gut feeling would never lie to you. So you need to focus more on your own internal GPS, whether you are guided to do something or not to do uh, something, kind of strengthening your intuition, learning how to trust better your in, uh, intuition. Internally, you will be drawn to collaborate with specific people um for some of you i keep getting like concerns around maybe children that soon they have to restart school uh for some of you you may be thinking of changing the course of your uh study and i also keep getting the reason that this showed up not also is bringing you like fresh brand new ideas a new sense of creativity but again they're talking about that sense of inspiration and motivation you may be the one that for some reason you are going to um be on the spotlight maybe you could be inspiring others motivating others i feel like this card is a great energy for those of you who are involved in public speaking motivational uh speaking uh, for those of you who uh in other words uh engage an audience or make an audience do something, push them to be better or push them forward. That could be a great energy for those of you involved with these things. Whether you are the one doing this public speaking or motivational speaking or whether you are the one in the uh, audience. Again, because this is a child's card, could also be for some of you the expansion of your family having to deal with a pregnancy or a new baby as an addition to your uh, family and generally it also means that you're going to feel more creative than uh, usual i keep getting the roots because it is a child it's like creativity like something fresh or something beginning it feels like uh, you're going to um lay down the roots to something to begin um or whatever you are going to create whatever you are going to create whatever new changes are going to take place in august for you are definitely going to grow very deep uh roots and very deep a very deep uh foundation so 
if a new relationship develops, could be a new business partnership, a new friendship, is going to develop uh, deeper roots. If it is a new home that could show up, something could be very significant about uh, your permanence and how long you're going to stay in that home. It could be like that's going to be the home but for some of you, you're going to stay for the rest of your life. So again, uh, deep, uh, deep uh, roots. And I also keep getting... Um, not also not only going places but maybe going places that as a child you always wanted to visit or learning something new just like a child will learn and experience new things for some of you i keep getting images of uh being somewhere open like in an open field it's either a carnival going on or a concert or like a fair. For some of you, I keep getting even more fancy events like going at the theater, going at the opera. Um, uh, I keep getting like speaking in a foreign language with other people from other communities or maybe they speak a foreign uh, language. I keep getting a lot of interesting a communication between you and uh, new people having to deal with these uh, new fun situations for some of you and a lot of outdoor uh, activities and gatherings and the last card that you have is the queen of cups falls in the position of um, how to keep and maintain balance if the queen of cups represents a person in your life uh, usually represents a cancer a pisces or uh, a Scorpio. This could be the sun sign, the rising sign, the moon sign, or someone who at this very moment has all the traits of a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Because this is general reading, the Queen of Cups could show up in your life as a woman or as a man. Um, so um, the meaning of the card is represents a mystical person or a mystical woman who has high intuition and a spiritual side they usually are very quiet um in their isolated place and sometimes they could be um and um sometimes they could be very uh manipulative so that's the meaning of the card now allow me to tune in and let me figure out why is it that this card showed up in this reading I keep getting through this card a very kind of like motherly energy or someone that you consider like a mother or a mother figure. You are either going to have a very deep and important conversation with a mother or a mother-like figure to you. Could be a mentor, could be someone that you deeply respect, like a mother figure, could be your boss, could be a grandmother or an aunt. And I feel like either getting closer to her but definitely talking about things that maybe before none of you or her maybe she wasn't willing to uh, talk uh, about so emotionally getting closer in uh, some way or for some reason you're going to find yourself dealing or acting or doing some stuff on behalf of your mother or helping her in uh, some uh, way at the same time this could be maybe some of you will become uh, a mother and having to go through uh, you know the usual beginning as a, a young mother you know the usual challenges that could be it for some of you and that could happen anywhere between now going in the next six uh, months someone who is in charge if you are in charge of something I feel like again you are going to try to either change people around their duties responsibilities kind of like trying to manipulate things or people into uh, making happen something that is in your favor and that may not be, be necessarily bad for other people everybody may benefit from this so trying to make some sort of an adjustment if this is not you in a position of power you may be dealing with higher powers at your work either um, the management or the higher management either with them directly or you may be dealing with some sort of a new regulations, new rule, new things that maybe they are imposing onto uh, everybody, including uh, you. They may be making like major innovations, major changes, and it feels that eventually 
uh, you're going to understand or get the benefits of these changes or these uh, things that you need to uh, work with and adapt. For some of you, maybe your work could be sending you in some sort of a training, um, you know, as a result, or you have to learn now to do things in a new, in a new way, in a, in a new way in your um, uh, work uh, uh, place. And for some reason, I feel like people from your past. I don't know why. At least an interaction with someone from your past seems to come back or seems to be of an importance. Um, so there's going to be at least one person from your past with whom you had some sort of an important relationship. Maybe you were, uh, maybe you used to be good friends. Maybe you used to be like lovers or in a love relationship. Maybe you used to be married. Maybe you used to be business partners or uh, co-workers. I feel like one of these people from the past somehow is either trying to find you, reach out to you, um i don't know what the purpose of this is but at least one of you needs to have some sort of a uh closure and uh, what else i feel like for some reason you will be given access to something and i don't know what this is could be access to anything but whatever this is it doesn't feel like it's totally up to you it feels like somebody will now give you access uh, to uh, something and it feels like something that you are hoping to get gain access to uh, something so I hope that made sense to some uh, of uh, you now allow me to give you your Akashic Records messages I am recording this in July 29 I open with a special prayer I close with a special prayer and then after that I write down all the messages that showed up for you in some ways, not for all of you, but in some ways, August could be difficult for you to stay calm. But no matter what, try to stay calm in this month of August. You will be reflecting and also reminiscing a lot during August. For some of you, they showed me that you will be going over some details of importance. You may be dealing with paperwork or documents of importance, travel, um, arrangements. For some of you, you may be dealing with different kinds of partnerships, either business partnerships or personal partnerships. Please don't hesitate to speak up your mind, but when you do so at the same time, please be careful on how you use your words. Because in August, it is best for you, Taurus, if you don't come out as too strong or too aggressive in any situation when dealing with people. I also kept getting an image of a waiver, either a waiver form, a waiver application, or so for some of you, you may have to deal with some sort of a waiver form or a waiver uh, application or documents in regards to a waiver. I also kept getting images of transferring of funds transferring of a business, moving, and or opening of a new home for some of you. They also showed me uh, invitations that some of you could be getting either to be part of a new program or to be part of something new. Uh, you will also see and notice some new faces in the workplace. You may be dealing with new superiors. You may be dealing with like maybe your superiors have new superiors. Uh, or new bosses, or maybe the head, the head of company is changing, or, uh, or in some ways, the company may be issuing orders for certain changes to take uh, place, or maybe they may, may be in the process of making certain uh, adjustments. I also keep getting images of some of you having to deal with bureaucracy, bureaucratic institutions, and bureaucratic procedures. And again, they said, if you have to deal with anything bureaucratic, the energies around August are supporting that. Whether it is like uh, getting a job, an application, whatever you need, whatever bureaucratic process needs to happen. They said that August has the great uh, or has good energy uh, for that. For some of you, due to certain energies that are going on, at some point you may also feel like you could be reconsidering your role, your job position in the company that you work for in or in the business that you may own. 
and you are going to make some adjustments that eventually are going to prove to be very successful for uh, you. And again, some of you Torians may experience some deep emotions, whether these are or some very strong emotions, whether these are deep and strong emotions like feeling excited or feeling uh, anger. And, you know, it's going to reflect like both sides or both uh, sides of uh, an emotion. So you may experience certain strong uh, emotions. And again, they say try to be as balanced as uh, you can. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Email me for a private reading, reading at amalightworker at gmail.com or through my website amalightworker.com. Click in the links down here below and they're going to take you to other uh, videos for those of you who want to know uh, more and looking forward to interacting with you again. Thank you so very, very much. Thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.